Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of the Very Green Lockdown. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can be more energy efficient. Energy efficiency has two sides to it. One is about using less energy and the other is about conserving the energy that we do use so that we don't have to use more. So a couple of simple ways that you can use less energy include turning off light switches when you leave the room, turning off the switches for any appliances that you're not using. This includes monitors that are on standby. You might also want to think about getting a smart meter, which can help you measure your energy use and how much money you're spending on your energy and reduce that. The other side of energy efficiency is conserving energy. And a way we can do that for our homes is of course insulation. This could be loft insulation. This could be cavity wall insulation. It could also be producing your own energy through solar panels. You may not be aware that in 2020, the government actually started a green home scheme, which our details are in the description below. This offers anyone that's eligible in the UK up to £5,000 in vouchers to make their home more energy efficient. And this could include loft insulation, but it could also include getting solar panels or cavity insulation. So I'm certainly going to be looking into that and seeing how I can use it to potentially put solar panels on my roof because that's something that I've always wanted to look at. It's becoming more and more affordable to do these things. Cavity wall insulation is a really effective way to make your walls more efficient and this can probably cost around £500 or even less potentially. So it's definitely worth setting some money aside for it. However, if you can't afford to do any of these things and you don't have the time or the ability to access the government voucher right now, then there are some other low skilled, low budget, but high efficiency things that you can do. So now I'm going to do one today, and that is installing radiator foil behind my radiators. The radiators that are placed on external walls can lose a lot of the heat that they produce through the walls and going outside. And it's thought that by installing some radiator foil behind the radiators, in between the radiator and the wall, we can save up to 45% of the energy that would normally be lost. So I've bought some radiator foil, very shiny, and it's quite thick as well, it's proper radiator foil, it's not just regular kitchen foil. And it's cost about 20 pounds online. And the reel is big enough to cover three radiators. I've only got two that I need to do. And I'm going to cut them out to the size of the radiator. And then all that needs to be done is that they need to be sticky backed onto the wall behind the radiator and left to do their thing. So I'm going to get started. So as you can see, you can't even see the radiator foil now and that was a really quick and easy job. So I hope you guys found that useful and will consider getting some radiator foil to keep your heat in more. I really hope it makes a difference and I'll be looking forward to seeing the results when I turn the heating on later. As always, thanks for joining me and I will see you again tomorrow. Don't forget to hit subscribe. See ya.